So let me just say, between the time I scheduled this and now I've contracted COVID, lucky me. So uh, I know like four or five people that have it right now. And they and they're all testing negative. They're not getting they're not testing positive, but they're being told by doctors that they have COVID and that there's a strain that just tests negative. Oh wow. well, I, I, there was a very faint line yesterday on this test, and then today it didn't appear to be anything. But I can tell you, I feel my girlfriend, first of all, who I'm quarantining with, does definitely have it. So I have it. Whether, regardless of what the tests say, uh, oh. yeah. I should be talking to here. I, 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 I'm so. If my head hits the desk, don't panic. But that means okay. we're probably done. You know, that's all. Okay. So, okay. are you about, feeling pretty awful? Pretty awful. Pretty awful. But, oh, but, just, so but, thank you. But you know, just doing this, it, it does kind of give you some endorphins, I suppose, or something, because I'm feeling actually a lot better. So, thank you both for doing that for me. Okay. And so, if you could stay on for just another 24 hours until this thing. <laughs> <laughs> of course no problem. it's not much to ask <laughs> hey karen uh alan uh did you remember do you know that we met uh, um you meet a lot of people so i, I don't actually mm -hmm. think you should remember at, but at what's at what's hall five years ago or no woodstock oh, woodstock Stock film festival with uh colwell there are a bunch of times what, recently or yeah the last film colwell with colwell okay yeah, so that was maybe just two or three, right before COVID, I suppose, yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure you're right, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was a real, real nice to be able to, and that was another real showcase uh, for your acting. Uh, and, and this one, which is called uh, Stage of Twilight, is uh, also for you both quite the, uh, a showcase for your acting. I, and um, let me just mention before we continue, since we started, and I apologize because I always start without making it official, uh, so forgive me, but it's going to be at the Woods Hole Film Festival um, in person on August 6th at 7.30 at the Redfield Auditorium. I, you know, I want people to know about it. Yeah. And then it'll, it'll be it's also available. Closing night film, I guess. is what. Oh, that, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. All right. Um, so any, have you guys worked together before ever? No. 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 Now, we had met many years ago, just like Hi Hi, um, although it was more than Hi Hi. I think we ended up sitting at a table having lunch or something uh, and chatted. And, um, and then we, we, we worked on a project since just recently, like a month oh. or so ago, but we, we didn't have any scenes together, but we were <laughs> in, the, in the same project. But, um, oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wh which one is that? Can you mention? It's called Hitman, and it's based on a series of novels, and it's going to be a series. Um, and we were in just the first episode of the series, although Bill's character will continue. Mine, I don't think, will continue. Um, I play a nefarious person. <laughs> so in other words, you're, you're, you're going to prison, or worse. I can very easily go to prison <laughs> for what I do in this show. <laughs> Um, well, how is it to play somebody who isn't sympathetic or, you know, maybe you can play that sympathetic. I don't know. I to play unsympathetic people, you know, it, it just, you know, cause I, I tend to be like very sympathetic in life. So it's such a, a nice vacation for one's, you know, attachment to one's identity, you know, yeah. <laughs> to go off in some completely. I can, vouch. I can vouch for that. She's very sympathetic in life. <laughs> I can but, tell. Yeah. To play like a nasty person is really fun. Have you done it before? I can't remember. Any. Oh, I have. I have. I played, I did a film which was called, um, God, I can't even remember the name. Uh oh. But it, was, it, was, it was with Keith Carradine, and I, and I played a woman who murders her husband. Um, and. You know, I have played other kind of very, very mean spirited people. Um, I'd have to, you know, I, I did a film called Poster Boy where I played a, a, the wife of a senator and and she's she's not really criminal, but she's, yeah. she's you know, got a ambitious, little, maybe or a chip on her shoulder. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're fun. Those are fun characters to play. 
for sure. Um, well, in this film, you play. I, I, I did a. I did a, I played a serial killer with Jeff Demun in a play. That was really fun. Oh. <laughs> he and I were a couple who who kill people for fun. Yeah. It was a comedy. It was what we were. Uh, is it safe to say a dark comedy? <laughs> it's a dark comedy. Yeah. Um. Well. In this movie, of course, you do play somebody sympathetic again um, uh, because, you know, uh, William plays Barry, who is uh, dying. He's got very short time left. I can divulge these things because they're sort of the mechanism that is the catalyst, if you will, for the story. I'm not uh, just giving away things um, uh, arbitrarily. but And then his idea, though, is to go off and, and, and not burden his wife, Cora, with this and it makes you think what kind of jerk does something like that i mean you know it's sort of a i mean you know that he's not doing it because he he's trying to be a jerk but uh, or for selfish reason but it makes it makes you think this guy is really being selfish well i didn't i didn't really well he doesn't think he's being selfish i think he's i i i think he's just mortified that these changes are happening so fast right and he, and he doesn't want her to see him like this, you know. She's, she's. They've known each other for decades and decades through all kinds of things, but he. I think he wants to spare everybody what lays ahead. And I mean, it's a dumb idea. He's going to go off in the woods <laughs> and, like a sick cat and go under the porch, you know. Right. But <laughs> exactly what it's like. Yeah. But but. You know, the, the, but but I think he he does it because he he's trying to he's mortified that that she's going to she won't love him anymore she won't you know he she just know, he just doesn't want her to see him like that. Please forgive these notifications. I've had so many people try to get rid of these. I mean, I I've had to go on to television shows with these notifications after people have. We cannot get rid of it for some oh. reason is not explainable um okay interesting oh, I didn't, well i didn't turn mine off either is, or is your, does yours do that little clicking thing sometimes yeah oh, it does yeah well normally you can turn them off but I would, yeah. I, oh, I, well I'm, I'm i'm lucky if i if i can make it through this you know in one piece anyway so i'm i that's the least of my worries i've got covid uh, up no but i I'm, I'm 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 excited to be here and uh and actually i, I get sorry go ahead Oh, I was just going to say, I'm glad. I'm just uh, grateful. That's all for having the opportunity to see the film and to to talk to you guys, uh, because you know it really is a film that it, I don't think I've ever seen a film before that de dealt with an issue like this, where you know where he was. I mean, they have so little time left, and they don't know life outside of their relationship, you know, and um, and he's kind of suggesting to he, or planning to do the unthinkable in a way, you know. I was going to add something to what Bill was saying, which is is that the the screenplay is based on a play okay. that I had worked on with Sarah for I think six or seven years, and it went through many, many, many rewrites and changes. And you know, one of the the strains or one of the threads that was in the play that I don't think comes through with quite as much strength in the screenplay is yeah. that is that my character, um, Cora, has has um, ex experienced, you know, they both experienced the loss of their child together. And mm -hmm. my character also experienced finding her mother having committed suicide. So I think that um. there, there was a stronger thread uh, at one time in the piece uh, that really he's protecting her from having to go through oh up close and personal, another oh, loss right. on that level because the two people, two other people in her life that she was the closest to and cared about the most were people yeah. who died right in front Departed of her. Departed early from her life and sort yeah. of abandoned her. And that she had really, you know, struggled with depression around these issues. So it, it's, I don't think it's as strong as it could be in the play, which might help explain like why he's made this decision, but but yeah. Do you need to always tell people what motivations, what your motivations are to make? Um, I mean, it, I don't know if it's no. necessary. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a theater guy saying that. It is. No, it, I don't it, think the balance goes over to people feeling like they don't understand. <laughs> they see it as selfish on his part. Um, I think that that brought the balance back into a more of it being a more selfless act in a, in a sense, you know, that he would make that decision to protect her from having to go through yet again another trauma. But I think that we don't, at the time in which he, you, your, your character tells me this, we don't know those things about Cora yet. So, right. you know, we'll find right. them out later. Yeah. Right. But it, it, it's also like he, they clearly love each other. This is not a, I mean, it's not a dysfunctional relationship. Not They've, at all. They, they lean on each other in, in wonderful ways. Um, they make each other laugh, uh, you know, which is great after 40 some years. Um, yes. And I think he, he, I, 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 when I read the script, I, I, I've not been attached to it for six years. Um, when I read the script, I found, I found the character of Barry um, just moving and, and understandable. I, I kind of felt a kinship with him in a way where the similar age, I've been married 40 something years. I've had health issues like serious health issues from time to time. And I could imagine easily how, hmm. how, how he would have to, how he would feel if, he, if, if I had to face something like that. I don't think I would look for a trailer in the woods, but um, that's funny. My, I'm just remembering my father. My father said a similar thing when he was, I, I visited him as a boy in the hospital and uh, he was more, he was mortified that his family was seeing him like this. It was interesting. I just, that just occurred to me anyway. Well, it's uh, interesting. It, it, yeah. That's really something that kind of did. You just sort of tapped into that memory, but I, I think there is also possibly, I mean, where I kind of relate to it, his decision as much as I can. I could never personally leave Cora, but um, I'd rather just die in a puddle of whatever <laughs> right at her feet. Uh, but um, that's me, you know. Uh, but no, it's like there's this thing that's there's this thing that's utterly out of his control, right? He, and yet this is his way of, in some small way, of taking control. It's, yeah, it's the only thing he has control of anymore. Um, it's all, um, yeah. But I, but like I say, even even from the very first time I read the script, I found myself being moved by the words. The, they made sense to me. They, and um, I guess I kind of felt like I understood him uh, in a in a personal way that made it easy for me to relate to him. And then working with Karen Allen, <laughs> hello. That was, that was, that was, uh, that was just a, a joy. I mean, there was a, there's a wonderful sort of contract between actors that um, when you get, um, you know, you have to go places that you can't go with civilians. Um, and, uh, and lean on each other. And she was fantastic. She was just, it's, it's like a tennis match, you know, you, um, with, uh, with a great partner. Well, we had, we had a wonderful day when Bill first said yes to this role, where we came together with the director. Sarah Schwab. In yeah. Great Barrington, Massachusetts. And we just sat around a table and really went over scene by scene by scene in terms of, you know, what, how we felt each scene was working and how the whole kind of emotional line through for these two right. people was going. And, you know, Sarah was very receptive and open to us really, you know, looking at how we might change it for the better and make it, you know, a little more, um, uh, 
authentic, you know, now that, you know, once, once you have the two actors that you're going to be working with, you know, you, you really have this opportunity, which right. a lot of times on films you don't have. I mean, you don't have the time to do it. The actors right. are meeting each other for the first time, you right. know, with the crew standing there and they're ready to go, exactly. and, you know, and they, you've memorized your lines and you show up and you just, you're just making the best of what's on the page. But, you know, the opportunity to actually get in there and, and work on it and point out some issues that maybe we thought things that could be more. Uh, Intentionalized or whatever. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was. Tailor, that was or tailor them, tailor them for your own. Great way to get to know Bill as well, because, uh, you know, it was just a very open, open discussion and. Um, uh, it was it was a, a wonderful way for us to start. Our, our process of working. Together. I can't imagine what you guys must have thought or expected when, because my body of work leading up to this has been murderers, terrorists, killers. Uh, I mean, I've played so many people. Fun at parties. Who could shoot you, shoot you, and then sit on your chest and eat a sandwich. Right. Um, but but you here. know, I really love that. I really love like somebody was, who hasn't done, you know, I mean, I think that that was a perfect sort of thing. That, it was brilliant for me. It was really, it was, it was one of the things that really drew me to it was because that was, it was a whole area that I, I had not, I have never been asked to explore on film. Yeah. Um, right. I think I've done it on stage, but but ever since I got to Hollywood, it's like, you know, they decided very early on that I should kill people or, right. or fight zombies or, you know, or be killed by zombies. Um, and, and all of a sudden there's this man and the woman going through this thing, this, you know, it's sort of the culmination of this marriage, these 40 years together. Um, and it was beautiful. It was, and it's really, you know, for all of the tinkering that we did, we started with a pretty powerful script. I have to say, Sarah based Barry largely on her own father who passed away when she was 14, she said. Um, mm. But there were just, I'm, I just, I, re I remember thinking when we were finished and I came back, um, from this intense, from this wonderful, intense experience. And I felt like I had gone to Oz, you know, and now I was back in Kansas and I couldn't, we can't explain to anybody what just happened. You know, they won't understand, no one will. Mm. Um, but it was remarkable. I, I really enjoyed it. I, it was a, kind of a landmark feeling for me. <laughs> of all the movies I've made, I didn't kill any zombies. I didn't shoot anyone. I didn't crash any planes. I just loved this woman and had to find a way to leave with my heart still intact. And uh, that's, that's what the movie was for me. <laughs> and it's called A Stage of uh, Twilight. Right, it's written and directed by Sarah Schwab. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna. Is this the premiere? Uh, yes. I mean, yeah. I think it's the world premiere. Yeah. At the Woods Hole. Yeah. Um, closing night film, you said. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. Um, I would love to be there, but I, I've been wanting to go to that festival for a long time. It's a really beautiful festival. I was yeah. there maybe five years ago with the film, and. Um, I just had a, first of all, it's a beautiful town, you know. Right. Yes, sure. Yeah. There on the ocean with the ferries coming and going over to Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. And, um, but it's just, it's just a, be you know, it's a beautiful little main street and all the places where they're showing the films are all within walking distance, which is always one of my favorite yeah. things the festival. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Although it's yeah, always yeah. weird. It's always weird to watch. I don't know how you feel about Karen, but it's always a little weird watching yourself on film. Are you comfortable with that? Um, it depends. 
I mean, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. And I think sometimes at festivals, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to watch it if you don't want. You can go and okay. introduce it and then you can go out and come back for the Q&A. Go get a blast. Go get loaded at the, uh, <laughs> the, in the cafe or the bar down the block. It's, there's always oh, I that. Love the, I love the, I love that people love it. And can it's, it's so funny because I watch movies. When I do watch movies that I'm in, I think everyone else in the mo- everyone else in the scene is phenomenal. And I sit there and say, "Why did you do that with your face? What are you doing? What do you <laughs> look at your hands? Relax your face. What's the matter with you?" <laughs> I know because you because you, you like instantly go back to whatever it was you were thinking at the at the second you were filming it. It's hard to right. be object. Anyway. Well, I hope maybe this this conversation. I don't know if you've done any other press yet for it. Uh, no, you were our first. Wow, yeah. that's nice. Well, maybe it starts to get you thinking because I think you'll have similar types of, uh, t- you know, questions will be coming from the Q and A's that you you might be a little bit. Again, if you're not going to sit through the film, you might not mind as much if you go out for a drink during the film. But uh, I think these are definitely going to obviously come up, and you know. I'm not saying I'm not original, but I'm not reinventing the wheel here. This is a lovely film. It's really, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's great to just settle in and see some such fine acting all around. Even there's a lot of support cast here. Everybody really, you know, does a great job. Huh? I'm sorry. Now, see, my, I'm, I'm guilty of doing that. <laughs> is that you? Is that yeah. you, Adam? That yeah. was. Um, sorry about that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> But Bill, you're also a very good co-host on this uh, podcast. You, I like it when the guests ask each other questions. You know, <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I've, enjoyed, I've enjoyed it. I have a great time in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and uh, with the <laughs> with the premiere, I look forward to uh, hearing more and uh, seeing it, uh, and and telling more people about it as it becomes more more available to people. Are you at Woodstock every year? Do you go to that? Well, I, I was going because, you know, it's just like, a, you know, it's just it's close by. To, I was down in the city at the time. Now I do. Live, now, actually, I live up here. And the woman that runs the festival asked me to kind of help with certain things. So now I find myself actually participating on a, you know, in a more active way. So it's uh, that's fun. Fantastic. I don't know if they sent this to Woodstock or not. I'm going to have to ask them. But I think, yeah, I have a I really to recall I'd be that surprised did, because it's such a um, it's a Woodstock I film. Mm-hmm. You know, I can I mean? throw a rock yeah. in Woodstock. I'm like right next yes, it's door. When, September, yeah, you are. September. September? Huh? That one, is yeah, it's September? at the end of September. Correct. So they wouldn't have gotten an uh, uh, answer back yet. I don't think. Although maybe. Mm. They may not have sent it to Woodstock. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, well, we'll make up for that somehow or other. That's all. I, I'm, I'm, I'll give them my. I'll, I'll uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm so sick at this point now. I'm going to go lie down and. Okay. Oh, I know um, I pulled through, but you guys dude, really helped. Feel better. I feel better. Feel better. Thank you very much. I really appreciate. It. Thanks. Thanks, you guys for okay. coming on. All Have right, a great sure. night. All, all right. right. You too. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Karen. Bye, Bill. <laughs>